It's the greatest story in the world. My dad came home from World War II, and he said, there'll be no guns and there'll be no fireworks in this house ever. And the guy down in the cornfield that has all the semi-trailers rented this building from this lady 25 years ago. But we, had, we have a cottage down around the hill down here on the river. And every year we drove by for six years, we saw 200 people standing in line to get in the semi. So we bought this property, and my one boy, Tommy, which is kind of like my partner, you know, it says Butter and Sons, you know, he's like my partner. The guy was cutting grass. The guy cuts grass. He cuts grass all the time. Got a big belly on him, 100 degree day. I dream about this. I walk down in the ditch. My boy said, Go over and ask them if we can sell pop and candy bars on the line. I'll, I'll, I'll go buy 10 cases of pop and we'll get a big tub and, and sell pop and candy to these people. So I walks down and I says to the guy, I says, hi, I'm Pat Marty. And he didn't shake my hand. And he shut the lawnmower off and he says, what do you want? And I says, I says my boys would like to sell some pop and candy bars on your, on your lines of people here. And he reaches in his back pocket and he pulls out this little chrome derringer dual, dual barrel. And he doesn't point it at me, he just flops it back and forth in his hands like this. And he says, if I wanted to sell pop and candy bars, I'd sell them myself. I said, you son of a bitch. I says, next year I'm going to sell pop and candy bars in this building and fireworks. So my wife, I said, I said, told my wife, Lynn, I says, get down, go on down to the library and find out everything you can about fireworks and she went down and we could, didn't have any luck so we got in the car and we drove to Tennessee and Missouri and we drove all over the south and the minute they wanted to, the minute they want they knew we wanted to find out about their business they just clammed up and shut up they wanted us to leave 70 miles over here by Beloit Wisconsin there's a the biggest fireworks guy in Wisconsin Cornelia Larry Cornelia we went in and we started talking to him, and, and he gave us the coal shoulder just like everybody else. And we were walking out the door, and he said, by the way, he says, where are you, you going to sell fireworks at? I says, we're going to sell them down there on the Iowa-Illinois state line. He says, you mean by that ass, H, you know, uh, John? I said, yeah. I says, that, yeah. He says, get back in here. And we came back in, and he says, he says, I'll give you all the fireworks free. You don't even have to pay for them until after fireworks just to go to sell against him. He says, just pay me after the, the season. And then he told us how to go about all the laws and everything involved in it. And that's how I got started in the fireworks business. Sons end up getting a Mohawk too? Well, last year they one did and one wouldn't. Wait, what were the little ones that were The here? baby, the nine-year-old yeah. got one, but the 12-year-old, the 13 year old is looking at girls right now and uh, <laughs> and he uh, doesn't want to look like an idiot I guess I told like him I, I, well I told him I said I said the girls will chase you all over the playgrounds with a mohawk buddy they won't let up till they catch you me and my boys have been doing this for a couple of years but the the guys now like he he saw me today and now he wants one this happens every time I come to work there'll be about five or six guys that will <laughs> that'll want mohawks in the next two days because I get them. Just the well, it's just advertising, you know, you come to Marty's Fireworks and you see all these guys with mohawks, you, you don't forget the name. You don't forget us. And I trade people for stuff all the time. Hats. I've had girls take their shorts off and change and take their shorts and change them for our shorts or t-shirts or anything women men anybody i've had guys come in here with 
I had a kid come in here with such bad shorts one day that I said, I said, I don't even want you in my store unless you get rid of them shorts. I mean, they were just all torn up and greased. I says, I says, I ain't going to serve you. I says, I said, I'll give you some, some free fireworks if you take the shorts off. And he dropped his shorts and walked around in his Fruit of the Looms and bought, people loved it. I, I've been doing this stuff for years. Anything for a laugh. Anything to get people to remember us. The fireworks business is mom, dad, and kids. I have very few drunks and alcoholics that walk in that door. It's all family. Dad wants to, if you, if you read the sign in there, it says, hey, gals, the 4th of July is Christmas for men and boys. Hey, see what that says? Don't be bitching about how much money they spend on the 4th of July. I put 20, I put 20 people to work here on the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th of July. There's 20 people working here. I can have a hundred cars in the parking lot here. It's just, it's awesome. It's just awesome. You just, you gotta be here on the first, second, third, and fourth of July. Something happens to these guys. It's like Christmas.